15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45. There goes Davis. Oh, my God. Davis is going to run it all the way back. Auburn's going to win the Here we are back with another episode of Bob and the Old Man. Just knocked off the number 10 team in the nation. Bo played his ass off. Yeah, Bo, it slipped in the second half, of course, as always. But he played a very solid game overall. He did. He missed a couple open throws. But overall, he played really, really well. Played like the five-star quarterback we expected him to be. Right. And uh, defense played the best game I think we've played all season. Well, yeah, one of them. Yeah. yeah. When you hold a team like that, it's I think points. the yeah, I think the Arkansas game, they played better, but, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it was, was um, this one was better. You know, you got the turnover. <coughs> we shut them down on fourth down. We were one of the best fourth down defenses in the country. Yeah. And we really made them shoot themselves in their own foot. Yeah. A and, lot of uh, times. Tank. Oh, it's just a beast. As always. Over 120 yards. This is the guy that just we – just kept getting better. Yeah, this is the guy we expected when we first came into the year. This is the best game he's played so far this year, too. Yeah. Jarquez, he, he's really our closer and running back. Yeah. And uh, there are Defense. a lot of – yeah. Just uh, They played lights out. They, I hate it that they got the pick there close to the end of the game and go down the field about 30, 40 yards and give the ball back to them. Yeah, that's just – you can't do that. We had too many turnovers. There were a lot – there's a lot we have to fix. We should have won this game by at least 20 points. It should have, yes. And I know it, we're going to be high off this game, but we got a very good football team coming in next week. If we don't get this fixed, we will be absolutely dominated next week. Yeah, well, I actually, uh, don't we go to A&M? Yes. Yeah, we're going to one of the most hostile environments. Again, we, we played at LSU, at Penn State during a whiteout. Yeah. So... But the best is yet to come, and that's the best thing I think. To say right. I mean, uh, I think Mike Bobo tonight showed the recruits, you know, that we're going after on offense. You know, we're going to run the ball. We're going to throw the ball. We're going to be balanced. I think this was the most balanced attack we've had. Yeah, in the first half, it was great, but we only got three points in the second half. It's still a win. Right? I, I mean, a win is always a win, but – and I was compared to Nick Saban tonight, which is flattering. But it's just the attitude I it's just because you cannot win if you don't have that attitude. There's a reason why Ed Orgeron just got fired. He doesn't have that attitude. Right. I agree with you. Hundred and ten percent. You know, you can as a as a coach you can never be satisfied, but as a fan, I wanted to beat them. Yeah, I, I and wanted, we beat them. Yeah, we beat them. But we should have beat them bad. That's just, that's what I'm upset about. It's just some like first play of the game, Tank bust a big run. He had the whole wide open. That might have been six. Yeah. For the first drive, and we wouldn't even had to have Bo run that great play. By the way, that's a great drawn up play by Mike Bobo to use Bo's legs like that. But offensive line has to play better. They played very well today. They did. Got to play better against Texas A&M. They're not a three man front. Yeah. I mean, they played very well, and uh, I don't like rotating Killian Zaire. And Austin Troxel. I don't think we. Yeah, they rotated him. I know I saw Zaire come in for a play here or there, and then Austin Troxel. Yeah. Troxel, I'm sorry, against elite defense, he's trash. Yeah, Austin Troxel. And I hate to say that about a kid, but he is. Yeah, but it's just we got to get things fixed. We'll talk about it in another video coming up this week. We got a lot to work on. It's we found a way to win, and that's. Most important thing. We got a lot, a lot to be happy about. Um, of course, this was a great win. Top it 10 was team a great the win. The Atlanta Braves are leading the World Series, two games to one. Mm -hmm. uh, Alabama didn't play this week, so it, it's just been a great week. Yep. But if you like the video, hit the like, subscribe. We're on the road to 500. Or damn eagle. Worry. Slim, go. Oh. Stop.